In today's video, I'm going to be using the most underrated tower in the game. This is, of course, the Spike Factory. But before we get into that, though, do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to like that smash button for the YouTube algorithm. I'd really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so we are against our opponent here on top. And we have both, I at least we both spammed in the lobby to go late game, so I hope he will. Also, this guy's global rank 4 in the world, so uh, so, so we're, we're going to see what's going to happen here. I am going to go for the Grape Shot right away here, and we're going to start on E-Coin. We are going to be going Boat Sniper, and this time, of course, Spike Factory. Normally, you'd want to go Ace with this strategy, but today we're going to see what the Spike Factory can do. So we'll, we'll see if... Uh, if, if, if it's going good. He, he's kind of angry that I'm ecoing. Like, bro, don't worry. I'm not rushing you. Like, all I'm doing is ecoing. He says, well done. Thank you. I can always get up another Buccaneer up at the top here. I actually don't know. Maybe you can fit three Buccaneers on this map. I'm not 100% not certain of that fact. But, you know, I, I think you can. I actually think you can. So, uh, yeah. We're just going to switch over to blues right here. There we go. And then we probably want to uh, do faster shooting as well that could uh, could come in handy and of course then eventually we do have to get in uh, get get our sniper going as well he says hi let's just say hi back we are chilling here we got the one one buccaneer we're completely doing good and now he's face palming i don't know what he's face palming, face palming me for he's probably going mortar i'd imagine like I, I don't know what else he's going he could also be going some aggressive powers but yeah we're gonna super eco boost here right away on round five and then of course we're gonna do it again on round seven uh, our goal here is to get like 750 eco if we can get away with that that would be pretty sweet But that means on round seven We need to super eco boost and then we need to get 680 eco after that and then super eco boost again around 10 He keeps on saying hi. It's pretty funny. Let's say hi again and Let's go for this thing. He got he goes for a quick shot. Are you kidding me? All right, let's just go straight for a lightning here Why the heck is he quick shotting me come on bro? I thought you wanted to go late game What's up with this? Come on, Mr. On Top. I trusted you, bro. I trusted you. He probably has Quick Shot and then some other things. I don't know what he has. But maybe, I don't know if we can get 680 eco here. It might be a little bit too ambitious. I'm not 100% certain. I'll try my best. Let's see. Actually, I, th I think we can. I think we'll be okay. We just have to be able to be okay to... Like, whatever rushes he might send us as well. I don't, I don't know if this guy is 100% going late game. He could have lied to me. Like, you never know. I'll say hi again. Nah, he's definitely not going late game. He's definitely planning on uh, on some sort of surprise attack for, for certain, dude. Okay, now he's sending a bunch of yellow balloons here. Let's just go ahead and use a lightning. And let's get up a sniper up at the top here. Go for full metal jacket on that. And what else do we want to do? We probably just want to upgrade or uh, use a super eco boost here right away. There you go. I kind of just want to upgrade this as well because I don't really like the fact that we're leaking. And he keeps on rushing me, which is not fun. Are we good here? Do I need to go for destroyer? I don't think so. No, we can just go for the semi automatic. Uh, there we go. And let's see if uh, if we'll be good here. He goes for that. Okay, nice. Well, job well done, buddy. Let's go for a destroyer here. And let's just get ready to boost right away. He's probably gonna wait till my damage boost is over. But you know what? That bought me some extra time to get that going. And I can actually get up another sniper down at the bottom here if I need it. Just waiting for him to rush me. I'm he's probably gonna knock out my sniper or something. I'd imagine. Quick shots me again. Okay, what is he gonna do? Alright, wait, so he didn't he just team tower stunned me. That didn't do actually do anything. We're just gonna swag on him here. Put down this thing. Looks like we'll be okay. Unfortunately, we did use a damage boost. I don't really think yeah, he just needs to he has quick bro. We agreed to go late game and now he's just messing up. He's just ruining it for himself, basically. Well, that is unfortunate for you, buddy. That is really unfortunate. I don't think I can... Wait, can I sell that? Can I get get away with this? Let's see. Might be able to go for Destroyer here, Crow's Nest. I kind of want to upgrade my Spike Factory a little bit. Just because... Uh, 
Ho hopefully that way will, will be a little bit better. Uh, fortunately for us, we do have the 2-4 Sniper, which is going to be insanely OP. So right now I'm actually just going to over-defend because I think no matter what, we, we're pretty much guaranteed to winning this. Like, as, as long as... Uh, like, he's going to quick shot, which might not be very fun. But I think he's actually gotten rid of all of them. I think he used all three quick shots. So the only thing he has left is like two, one or two more Team Tower stuns. I don't know how many Team Tower... I think you have two in total. So he has like one Team Tower stun left. But we are going to get up another Destroyer in case we need it. We still have our Sniper down at the bottom here, which is beautiful. I actually thought I sold that, but apparently not. Let's get ready to upgrade that as soon as we can. I might actually want to go for Spike Ball Factory, but I don't know, not yet. I do also want to get ready to upgrade this right here in case of a BFB or something. So definitely want to be uh, be ready for that. And let's target this one up here to first and then see what happens. He's definitely going to rush me at some point, like for sure. Right, let's target it here now. Go for that. Go for Spike Ball Factory. And looks like we're fine. Now we just gotta wait a little bit longer though. Unfortunately, we can't really sniper uh, farm that efficiently. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. It looks like we're we're gonna be fine no matter what. So I actually think I think I do want to just rush him. To be honest, it looks like he's gonna be all outing me here. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and damage boost that. I'm gonna be going for a spiked mind here and just cry. That is sad, bro. So sad. Anyway, let's go ahead and just stall out him. He can't really do anything. Like, there is nothing uh, nothing he can do to defend this. Just gonna do lots of glue. That's a, that's a GG. Actually, let's just spam down <laughs> a bunch of things. Just to troll him, really. Oh, he's actually DC glitching me. Look at that, bro. Wow, the top one of the top players is trying to DC glitch me. Unfortunately, NK isn't going to do anything about this, but... Wow, what, what what a scum, bro. What a scum. Look, he's coming back right now. He's actually trying to DC Lich. DC Litching, by the way, for those who don't know what it is, is when your opponent disconnects right when you're both about to leak down. That way, you will actually die first uh, instead of your opponent. And as you can see, this guy is just a sore loser. He even agreed to going late game, and now, now he's just... Now he's just getting wrecked, bro. He is so pissed. Anyway, we do end up taking the dub here. And as you can see, he comes right back again. And he leaks down to zero. And we take the victory. That's a GG. Um, but I am going to go ahead and report this guy. Just because DC glitching is against the rules. Got a face palm. <laughs> he says, good game. What a pathetic loser, bro. Let's just move on. All right. So this time we are playing on park. And we're against Mr. Spooch here. And this time I'm actually not going to be going boat, um, boat sniper. I'm going to be going ninja mortar instead. So I kind of want to place the ninja probably up here. And I don't really want to anti-stall. So we are going to be ecoing right away. I'm going to go for a 2-1 ninja. And I do want to get the mortar down eventually. And then I want to be using the mortar like for just like grouped balloons. And then eventually I do want to get up the uh, spike factory probably probably up around here ish but that's not going to be until later or maybe i could use it for like a bfb or something i don't know we'll, we'll see the thing is i could also just be using uh ninja mortar only for the entire of the game but uh, where would be the fun in that but i do kind of want to get up the mortar right now there we go and then at some point I need to find a way to fit in the spike factory because of course it's my third tower I have to use it. It's really it's it's like decent for late game. Like it's pretty good for late game. Late game we're mostly gonna need spike factories, and then we're just gonna need um what's it called? Like spike factory mortars really, and then just the ninja stalls like the sabos. But we don't really need that many bloom jutsus, not for late game. But we'll see where this goes. We're both ecoing with the ninja, which is actually pretty funny. I didn't actually know my... I didn't expect my opponent go to, to go ninja because nobody goes ninja eco ever. Like, it's so rare that people will ever play this. But yeah, our mortar right now is completely chilling, just helping take care of all of these blue balloons. It's also going to be taking care of green balloons quite well, but I am going to get up a rapid reload on it just to help be a little bit better against it. And he's actually leaking a bit now. That is not good for him. Oh, buddy. 
That is no good. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. Almost 500 eco. Can we hit it before round seven? Yes, we can. And round seven, we're just going to use another super eco boost as well, of course. I don't really know how much eco we want to go for here. Um, but we definitely want to get a good amount. He used a super eco boost as well. I don't know if he used it on round five. I can't remember. Maybe he did, but I'm, I'm not sure. I want to see if we can get like 750 eco probably to maybe 800. It, it really depends. We can't be too aggressive. Like we do have to play it like semi, just a little bit passive. Like we can't be way, way too aggressive, but we can be like semi aggressive. He's just chilling right now. Like he's going eco and then he's going with ninjas. Ninjas instead of like anything else. Like he could be going with Buccaneer instead. I feel like ninjas might actually even be better than Buccaneers. But yeah, we're getting a really, really good value out of our eco here. Maybe we can get 850. So let's go to 780. There we go. And then wait till round 10. I'm done ecoing for now. Because we don't want to over eco either. Let's go for this and then wait till round 10 and then use our last super eco boost. I don't want to use it round 9. Round 9 is such a short round. That, that There would be nothing fun about that. Round 10, here we go. 850 eco. That is really, really great. I do need a signal flare eventually, but I kind of want to go for this thing first. Actually, I could go for the signal flare now. It doesn't matter because I'm going to have to wait two eco boosts anyway. Let's see, round 11 quickly give me this thing and oh he goes for that that is very very interesting he probably has a lightning okay you know what i'm just gonna let him farm but i need to eco myself he could also be all outing me but if he does i will just damage boost it i kind of want to get down another one of these things up here there we go. Now we just need to eco as much as possible. The more eco we can get, the better. We really, really need to be greedy here. Because he's gonna be he's not gonna care that I'm ecoing. That's the thing. He's gonna be focused on his sniper farm. And he's not even gonna rush me. I don't think so. Good thing though is we do have damage boost, which is for sure gonna help me out a lot. And we have like 1100 eco right now in round 14. Like, dude, that is that is insane. This is a really, really good amount of eco to have uh this early of a round. We definitely, if we can hit like 1500 eco before around 18, that would also just be gold. And then 2000 eco before around 20. That is, I think that's the goal right here. But I don't know if, uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to hit it, especially because we uh, keep on anti-stalling. So, uh, yeah, that's no good. I mean, our opponent is anti-stalling too, so can't really say too much. We're definitely going to hit 1500 before around 18, I believe. And of course, we will also need to be able to defend a Moab, which I think should be no problem. I just don't want to waste a boost. Like, I want to be able to defend it without a boost. He's just going for more snipers right now. You know what? Fair enough. You do you. But it looks like we're definitely going to hit the 1500 mark. And how much eco are we getting, like, per round right now? We're getting, we're getting like, 60 eco every round-ish. And of course, it just keeps on going up. So that is beautiful. We hit 1600 by round 18. That is nice. Honestly, we could go ahead and just boost here, or I could go ahead and use a lightning in case he sends me anything. I might actually just do that instead, and then just continue to eco. 1750 right now. If I get 2000 eco by round 20, we are going to be chilling. Like, we will be able to eco for just most of the game. Oh, he didn't get Seeking Shuriken on his, uh, on his ninja. That kind of bothers me a little bit. I hate it when people don't do that. Okay, he sold his ninja again. Nice. And look at that, 2,000 eco on round 19, beautiful. At this point, we have to stop. I, I seriously have to stop just a little bit because he could send me like all out, just anything. He could be sending me all out Moabs if he wanted to, and I would be done for uh, done for if he did that. So I'm gonna stop for a little bit here, go for Bloom Jitsu, and then I do want to upgrade this thing here as well. That rush is really gonna do nothing. But Bernie stuff, big Bloom Buster, get that a 3-2. There we go, and now we can just continue to eco. See if we can get like 5k eco by round 25. If we can, that's going to be very, very great. But yeah, we're not to the point yet where we can infinitely eco, but we're getting close. Like we stop ecoing like 3, 4, roughly 4 seconds into it is when we can't infinitely eco. And we get eco every 6 seconds, so uh, yeah, I think once we're at around 2800 to 3000, that is when we can infinitely eco. 
Now it's almost five seconds. Like we can e eco nonstop for like five seconds. Yeah, look at that. He almost got it. Look at how powerful our eco is, dude. That is just beautiful. He's still not sending me anything. Like if he starts sending anything, I will just stop whatever I'm doing and then I'll just get up a bunch of defense. I definitely think I will be able to defend whatever with my current eco. Because I can slow stuff down. Like there are so much things I can do. There's so many things I can do. Like I'll be fine. Okay, he starts on ecoing a bit more for some reason, instead of just going for sniper farms. I definitely think sniper farms is more worth it, so definitely go for those instead. Uh, are we good here? Eh, a little bit sketch. Don't know why he sent that much, but maybe it was because of that. I think. He's gonna price gouge me now. Why is he price gouging me? What? That is just so dumb. What the hell? Oh, that is such a waste of a power. Honestly. Like, I don't even need to get up any defense right now. But since I know that he has price gouge, I'm definitely going to get this up. But right now, I do want to just get as much eco as I can. There we go. Let's get a slowdown just because we know the fact that he has price gouge. But at this point, we can, like, infinitely eco. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to be holding in the pinks right here. And sending them forever he's sending more pinks right now like i don't know why he's ecoing like dude go for your sniper farms why, why like you have no reason to be ecoing that just makes no sense okay, round 24 we should definitely easily be able to uh, deal with this no problem especially because we got the mortars as well helping out and our two ninjas i don't i don't think round 25 will be a problem either unless he starts sending us stuff but I doubt he will. The only problem is the anti-stalling going on, which I'm not really too big of a fan of, but it's okay. Right, now he's sending more stuff. I think I'll just go for a couple more ninjas right here. There we go. Four Blunjitsu uh, should definitely be enough to handle. For sure, for sure. Let's see, round 25. Are we actually gonna be able to hit 5k eco on round 25? Maybe. Looks like it. Yep, we hit it. Let's go. 5k eco on round 25. That is beautiful. I think I want to continue going until I hit like 10k eco-ish. Because we are going to need a bunch of eco just to be able to defend. And then we're going to get up a bunch of spike factories. Like that's also going to be, uh, be pretty important. But let's see. Round 26 right now. Now the rounds are kind of going to go a bit faster. So it's not like I can get... A thousand eco per round sadly i wish though but i'm just gonna continue and then whenever he finally does start rushing me i'll just get up defense like because i know he doesn't have like he probably has like maybe one to two k eco so he doesn't have a lot of eco but he has sniper farms and he will definitely be able to send me a lot but the more he waits the more he'll be able to send me but then again the more defense i'll also be able to get up right now i'm not getting up defense until he rushes me like, this is going to be enough. I Actually, the only defense I am going to get up is are these two. There we go. That's all I'm going to do, just so that I can actually defend, like, round 32 uh, ceramics. That's my biggest reason for this, just because it, it absolutely tears ceramics apart. It's crazy. Anyway, round 28. Our eco is looking beautiful right now, honestly. I'm really loving the amount of eco I have here. I think we managed to eco quite well this game. And he's also just chilling, you know, doing his own thing. I don't know what else he has, though, other than ninja. Like, probably ace, I assume, or something. But, like, if, if he does, then he'll be able to slow down and have the ground zero, which I'm not really too big of a fan of. But, honestly, we'll just see what happens. We're just going to go as late as possible here. And then probably rush after round 35, I imagine. After round 35, like, not even his ace is going to help him. So, uh, yeah. Alright, we have 7k eco right now. I don't know if we'll be able to hit all 10k, to be honest. I don't. But we might. Maybe. There are definitely chances, but we'll see. It's round 30. Whenever he starts rushing me, that's when I stop ecoing. But right now, I just want to continue to eco. Like, as much as I possibly can. See, round 31. We should be fine to all of these, I think. They shouldn't really be too big of a problem. No, I think we're good. Yeah, we're completely fine. Let's go 
Do we need to retarget this? Oh, let's do it. Maybe I need to get up a second one. You know what? I'll do that. I'll get up a second big one. There we go. Just so we will be uh, guaranteed fine to defend this. Even two big ones aren't like looking like they're enough. That's kind of crazy though. All right. That's doing the job. Let's go. And we got AK Eco now. Doing good. He's still just sniper farming as much as he can. That's wild. I don't know how much money he has. Maybe he's spending them all on just more snipers. But I don't know. I'm still I'm still just waiting for him to eventually rush me at some point. I do want to get a few of these up. And what I also definitely want to get up is a bunch of spiked mines over here. There we go. Those are going to come in handy to defend pretty much anything, really. All right, I do want to get up like at least five of these. There we go. Let's get up a little bit more defense right now. Not too much, just a little bit more and then keep on ecoing. Eco is going to be so important, dude. Like it's actually going to be crazy how important eco is going to be. All right, so I don't actually want to spam too much down. But I do want to make it like, make all these uh, Bloom Jitsus kind of like fill out here if I can. So that they uh, they get the most value for their space, if that makes sense. I don't actually know, can we fit, oh we could fit one right there, but whatever. Let's place that down and then get some more down like right over here. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to hit 10k eco, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Right now, I just want to fill these in. We're in spots where they'll be good and where the uh, the spike factories won't really be able to uh, do that much. But let's do it. Let's get these in. Oh, we could fit one. That was all. We got to we gotta continue to eco for a bit right now. Now is when we need to be uh, start being careful. I'm going to place down some more big ones over here, I think. There we go. And another spike storm right there. And we're only at 8.6k eco. I'm not really a big fan of my eco. Maybe I should have ecoed a bit more and just waited. I don't know. Okay, we'll see what happens. I don't know his third tower though. If he has super monkey, I'm done for it. Like I am screwed if he has super monkey. I really hope he doesn't, but I, I don't think so. Maybe I should stop just stop at 9k. Yeah, it's it's not really worth ecoing past this point. But let's uh Let's just start getting a bunch of these down. There we go. And we can fit one little uh, tiny ninja in here. We can fit one spike factory up here. That's what, like, spike factory is just so fat. Like, it takes up so much space, it's crazy. Alright, let's go for some more ninjas. We can't really fit too many more spike factories. We have, like, how many? We have six spike factories right now. They're definitely gonna help out, like, to BFBs and stuff, or uh, CMGs and stuff like that. Alright. The only big problem right now. Oh, no way he has ice, dude. Oh, that is unlucky. Yeah, he's definitely gonna win this, I think. But we're still gonna, we're still gonna wait and just try our best. It is really, really gonna be unfortunate, though. Ninja Ice Sniper. That is a broken strategy, dude. I kind of want to try that out now. That is actually just broken. <laughs> Holy. Wow. All right. I think on round 42 is probably when we want to rush. Only problem is like, I mean, we do have a stall tower. We have this thing, which is good. Like that might come a little bit in handy, but we, we need a bunch more money. We don't have enough. The thing is, he will probably like struggle defending himself oh let's see price couch is oh he's just getting rid of it i was waiting if he rushes me i'm definitely gonna rush him back but he's not rushing me yet he's defending everything easily though so that's no good for me the only good thing i think is that stuff will get by on his side much easier because i don't know maybe the ice will help out a lot with the ice shards if he spams down more ice perhaps but I think stuff will get by, but because a lot of things will be targeting the CMGs. But we'll see. Got a good amount of money right now. I kind of want to be able to send like at least 200k worth of CMGs. So I'm going to wait till around 42 when they get stronger. Okay, never mind. Can't wait. He started. 
I think we're going to have to damage boost right away. We want to be able to use all of our damage boosts. He's going to price gouge me again. All right, let's go ahead and just use all of these and wait for them to come back. And I'm going to stop here. Let's slow everything down again. Let's go ahead and use a lightning here. He damage boosts too. Uh, the problem is he will be able to slow everything down. I won't. Alright, let's sell that. Go ahead and do this. And I do want to target all these mortars right here. To like the middle. Let's go ahead and use all of these. Damage boost again. Another eagle artillery. The more we can slow these down, the better. The only problem is every single time like i lose like a little over 2k by just using uh using the equal artillery let's do that slow down again i'm kind of gonna have to just micro as much as possible here but i'm losing so much money doing this it's crazy and it actually looks like he's gonna defend bro that is so crazy holy let's slow everything down again damage boost one more time is he actually going to defend everything? No way. Holy. Right, I need more defense. Quick. I think we're going to start to struggle here soon. And yeah, he's completely defending. There's no way I'm defending this. I'm still trying. Like, I'm still trying my very, very best. do that yeah I can't defend that sadly there's nothing to be done here no matter what yeah he's defending he's even defending that easily on his side even off the round dude I seriously got to play that strat dude anyway bro there there's a reason the spike factory is underrated ah uh, and I'm dead not even gonna defend that rip GG spooch tried our best here but holy he definitely went a way better strategy than I did, but thank you guys so much for watching. It was fun to record. I'll see you in the next one, and peace out.